Welcome to Ron Siegel Radio. This is the show with no real boundaries as we discuss current events, financial markets, politics, sports, even poking fun at the rest of the media. This is the show that connects the dots of confusion delivered by conflicting media reports. We connect the dots so you know the actions you can take. How your family, your business can benefit from current events and most of all, thank you for joining me. Within every market, there are solutions as well as tremendous opportunities. You just need some trusted guidance. That's my message, and I will be delivering it every day. We have a very focused show. We only chat about items that affect the roof over your head, your bank account, and anything I think would benefit you. And let me remind you, if you ever have any home or finance-related questions, I am the Consumer Advocate looking out for you, and you can reach out to me directly. 800 306 1990 306-1990 or ronsegalradio.com. Just remember that's the number you call anytime for assistance. When you call that number, it comes directly to me first. There are no operators standing by. I am it. Quiet, numbskulls. I'm broadcasting. Well, I do have a great team when it comes to developing a financing plan or plan to save you money. I personally work with you. Even if you don't have any needs today, save this number in your phone for future reference, 800 306 1990 Of course, we are celebrating a little bit today. It's a mild celebration today because it is National Milk Day. Unbel Does that one really sound... Oh! Yeah, that one wasn't an exciting one for me either. Unless you throw a little bit of Kahlua in there, maybe some vodka. Yeah, then it might, might make it a little bit more exciting. Just saying, uh, the stock market, that's not an exciting topic today either. Just watching that as we're looking here. The market opened up over 100 points up, settled back down to almost the flat line. Now we're up a little bit more. Oil prices down significantly, down $1.38, another 4% down on oil. Although it's not having a significant effect here in the state of confusion, it is in other areas. Oil prices down nationally to $1.96 and a half. Yet here in California, we're at $2.85.6 according to AAA. Missouri still has, leads the country at $1.65.6. Figure that, they're $1.20 a gallon cheaper than we are, yet I think a lot of the oil comes in through our ports here in California, yet, you know, we're still paying more. We, we like to charge ourselves and do whatever we can to get higher pricing. Doesn't make sense to me, but it is what it is. It is what it is. It's going to be an interesting market uh, this week in the, in the mortgage world. We're going to see a lot of interesting issues. I guess we'll save that to the next segment, what's going to be going on. Jobs. Yeah, that jobs numbers are still out there, still nothing to write home about. Saw that report that came out this weekend. The California cities, there, there's some of California cities are within the best cities to get a job. Some of California's are not. Ironically enough, I found it very, very interesting to see that one of the best cities to get a job was, San, was one of the tops on the list was San Francisco. I couldn't believe that when I saw that San Francisco was near the top. Could, would you uh, really look at that as being a top city to get a job? Although, depends on what you're looking for. Just because San Francisco does have a good number on getting jobs, but here's the issue is the housing market there is very, very difficult. They've got the, one of the highest median home prices in the country. So uh, San Francisco may not. Number seven on the list is Irvine, 15 is San Francisco, 17 Fremont. The, the top city here in, in Southern California, Oceanside at number 76. Rancho Cucamonga, number 80, and Huntington Beach, number 81. So there is some uh, representation of the state of confusion right there. Uh, moving right along, there's there's a lot here uh, to go to to really chat about. You gotta wonder though. I saw some new reports over the weekend. I was looking at favorabilities: Hillary Clinton, Donald Trump. That was a interesting scenario. Ron Burkle. 
An interesting sort, very, very active investor here in Southern California. At one time it raised $10 million for the Clintons. And now he has absolutely nothing to do with them. I wonder what that is. Now, obviously, when you've raised that kind of money for the Clintons, and we know that the Clintons have this interesting background. I bet that he knows more about the Clintons than we do, especially being putting up that kind of money. When, the, when there's money involved, the Clintons do or do have a, a knack, or they've got it, they're known for. I don't know, shall we say it, pandering? Just a thought there. IRS phone scam. Have you seen this one going around? I, I keep hearing these scams. and I, I, It's amazing that I continue to see them and we share them with you I, and I get calls about them. Obviously, I know that not everybody is listening to Ron Siegel Radio. Shame on them. They really should be. They wouldn't be getting caught with these things, but... Scanners, the scammers are using a phone spoofing system to make their numbers come up as IRS. They already have the last four digits of social security number. That's not too difficult to get. And that people start thinking that that makes them legitimate. It's not. The IRS does not call you. They send you a letter in the mail saying you call them. They use common names and fake IRS badge numbers. They send bogus IRS emails to support their scam. They call a second time claiming to be the police or Department of Motor Vehicles and the caller ID again supports their claim. You're, paid to, you're told to submit payment either by wire or prepaid debit card. And so far there's been thousands of people scammed out of about $5 million according to IRS officials. Call them back. If someone tells you they're calling from the IRS, ask for their number to call them back. See what they have to say at that point in time. Guaranteed that's going to get rid of that particular person. I shouldn't guarantee, but the likelihood is you're going to get rid of that person. They're not going to, they're not going to heed. They will not give you their phone number or they'll give you a false phone number. When you call and ask for that person, you'll find out that they are not legit. So please... A little prudence here, if you would. Just a little prudence. Unreal that we continue to, to discuss these same issues over and over again. And it's just like the, the jail scam where people will call seniors generally in the middle of the night, tell them that their loved one is in jail. No, they're not in jail. You don't have to send the money. Key thing with some of these scams is they like to keep it under the $600 threshold. That $600 threshold makes this the difference between felony and misdemeanor. So just remember, if you hear that number and you're, you're really wondering why is it $595 or something like that to solve the problem, that might be the issue. That might be the reason that it's at that threshold of money. Saw an interesting article, CNN Money had this one just recently, and I figured I would talk to you about it a little bit. I'm in my 20s, just starting a new job, and I really want to get on the road to financial security. What's the best way to begin was the way the article is. Reading us some books, uh, The Millionaire Next Door is one, a, a really a good book for people to look at and see what, it, what the conversation is there about... Living below your means, it's a big issue. Try not to, you gotta, you gotta have a game plan. You have to know where you're heading. You have to know what you want to accomplish. I share this all the time, that if you call one of the area trusted professionals of Ron Siegel Radio, the first thing they are gonna ask you is what are you trying to accomplish? What are your goals? What are your objectives? Yours, I guarantee, are not gonna be the same as the person that called right before, the person that called after. So you need to understand where you are. That's what the professionals are gonna do is help you help walk you through that game plan. Set a game plan. Are your credit scores where they wanna be? Are they, is your income where it needs to be? Are you in the job you want or is it just something that you could get? We know that 94 million Americans are out of work so a lot of people are just taking the job they can get. It's not where they wanna be. It's not the game plan. It's not on their radar, but they do need to eat. So they do what they have to do. So live below your means is one item right there and plan on saving some money. Keep it simple. 
Don't try and do everything all at one time. It doesn't work. How do you eat an elephant? Well, it's one bite at a time. You can't put the whole thing in your mouth. Stay the course. Know the plan. A lot of people are going to try and get you off course. That's why you've got a household board of directors. We'll talk more about that throughout the broadcast today. You are listening to Ron Siegel Radio discussing your real estate, current events, and the financial markets. Thinking of buying a home? Three questions every buyer should answer first. We'll talk about it. Why you should avoid the skip of payment offers on your debts. We see a lot of those at this time. The Federal Reserve raised interest rates. What's the next step? Are they going to continue raising interest rates? We'll chat about that as well. You can reach me anytime. Call our off-air number, 800-306-1990, 800-306-1990, or ronsegalradio.com. Connect with us, facebook.com forward slash ronsegalradio on Twitter, at Ron Siegel. And if you miss any part of our broadcast, YouTube, Ron Siegel One is where you'll find us. Stay tuned. We will be back in just a few. Are you earning a safe, secure 10 plus percent return on your investments? Is your credit score over 800? Are you living in the home of your dreams or simply where you think you can afford? If the answer to any of these questions is no, what are you doing about it? Text ATP to 79564, complete a three minute complimentary survey, and the area trusted professionals of Ron Siegel Radio will reach out to you to develop a success strategy for you. Again, all you need to do is text ATP to 79564. Ron Siegel Radio Date Night Trivia presented by Reunion Kitchen and Drink. Friday, Ron will pose a question based on on air conversations during the prior seven programs. The person to post the answer according to the guest conversation will win a date night package, including a dinner gift card for Reunion Kitchen and Drink. You might even be able to say hi to Ron when you visit Reunion Kitchen and Drink. It's not every day your home gets flooded, but when it happens, you've got the good people at Apris on your side. With over 25 years of construction and insurance experience, they can turn any disaster around, making your home good as new. For 24-7 support, call 844-GO-APRIS or find us on the web at www.apris.me. Day, night, rain, or shine. When it happens to you, you know what to do. Go Apris. Remember, call 844-GO-APRIS. That's 844-462-774. Are you a veteran, own a home, and need money? The Siegel Lending Team is here to help veterans refinance and get the money they need. The VA 100 lets you borrow up to 100% of your home's value, refinance your mortgages, consolidate credit cards, and lower your payments by an average of $700 a month. And the Siegel Lending Team knows that character means more than a credit score. Call 800-306-1990. That's 800-306-1990. Rate subject to change without notice. Licensed by the California Department of Corporations, NMLS 21037, and DRE number 0186. Are you a veteran, police officer, firefighter, doctor, nurse, or teacher? If so, you qualify as one of Ron Siegel's VIP heroes, and we have rewards up to $5,000 or $10,000 when you buy, sell, or refinance a home with one of the Ron Siegel Radio Partners. As one of the heroes, real estate agents will rebate part of their commission. Lending partners will give a credit at closing. The title company has special published rates. And many other service providers have incentives, too. All you need to do is call Ron Siegel Radio at 1-800-306-1990. That's 1-800-306-1990. Or visit VIPHeroProgram.com. Just think about what you will do with all the rebates and incentives from the partners of Ron Siegel Radio. Just call us at 800-306-1990 so we can show you our appreciation for your service. listening to Ron Siegel's Home and Finance Show with local and national expert Ron Siegel. Now, here's Ron. Welcome back to Ron Siegel Radio. Within every market, there are solutions as well as tremendous opportunities. You just need some trusted guidance. That's my message. And as your consumer advocate, I will be delivering it every day on Ron Siegel Radio or anytime at 800 306 1990 800 306 1990. The real time real estate segment today being brought to you by the area trusted real estate professionals of Ron Siegel Radio. Do you want the true equity amount of your home? 
give a call, Ron Siegel Radio Area Trusted Professionals, or just text PEAR, Professional Equity Analysis Review, PEAR, to 79564, and one of the professionals will reach out to you to discuss your property. Can't be done with all these different online services. I see, I see on Facebook every single day, I see on Twitter every single day, People saying or, or advertisements on there for getting the value of your home, just fill out this little survey and we'll send you back the report. Well, it's automated. It's just like going on any other website and getting the report. It doesn't have the personal relationship that you need. Anybody can do that automated stuff. You don't have to have any knowledge for that. You have to know what side of the golf course you're on. Are you, do you have a view? Do you not have a view? How modern or not modern is your property? Do you need an updated kitchen? All these things go into the discussion about the valuation of a property. Now, when you're talking about the equity, how can you have a discussion of equity if the machine doesn't know what you owe on the property? It's impossible. Now, for those folks that are trying to get some information here, I, I, there's only a couple of reasons why you want that. Number one, you just start, want to know what's going on in your community, what's your property value. No problem. Again, text PEAR, P-E-A-R, to 79564. Or you're considering selling your home. Again, do you want an automated service doing it? Do you, you just do it yourself if it's all automated. Or do you want to talk to somebody, have a relationship? I suggest it's all about the relationship. Text PAIR, P-E-A-R, to 79564. Again, one of the area trusted real estate professionals. Your neighborhood. They'll reach out to you and get you the information so you can make an educated decision. One of the items that's required in an educated decision is to know what's competition, what's happening in the marketplace. How about supply of competition? Is there a supply? Maybe there's no demand and that's why there's no supply. We're going to talk about all of that. Let's talk first about the folks that are looking to buy a house. And what, do you, what are some of the questions you need to know if you're thinking about buying a house? And, and there's several of them, but there's three that I really believe you must be able to answer. Number one, why am I buying a home in the first place? Now, many people will say an investment. I'm going to suggest to you, if it's your primary residence, an investment, maybe, and that's certainly a consideration. You've got to be able to afford it, but what about a good place to raise children or get them edu a good education? What about your family's security? What about more space for you and your family? What about having your own control? My son had a dog at one time. The dog was not one of the most favored species. When he would try and rent a property, they didn't want him with the dog. I think it was the dog that they didn't want. I'm not sure. I'll have to ask him about that. But, they, but in any event, if you buy, you don't have to worry about those issues. So what does owning a home mean to you? What non-financial benefits will you and your family gain from owning a home? The answer to that question should be the biggest reason you decide to purchase or not purchase. If you remember last month, we had John Reeves on the show. We were talking to him about our military men and women and the benefit of buying in the market that they're working in. And if they get transferred to get a new assignment, buying there as well. Building up that real estate portfolio, adding in John's case, he was just, we was sharing how to add a thousand dollars a month to the income stream of our military men and women. Think about that. Number two, where are home values headed? According to the latest home price expectation index or home price index from CoreLogic, home values are expected to increase 5.3 percent nationally over the next 12 months. But here in California, they're talking 10.8%. I looked at that and I said, you know, I don't know whether we're going to get another 10.8 this year. But then you start looking and exploring and seeing what is it that drives home prices? Well, the answer to that question is always going to be the same. 
supply and demand. Well, if that's the case, supply and demand, there is a lot more demand than there is supply right now. Supply is short. Demand, the foot traffic reports that we're getting out of the National Association of Realtors, they monitor how many times lock boxes are opened, is telling us that there is a lot of people out shopping. Are they window shopping? Maybe. But most of the reports that are out are discussing the foot traffic reports from December. People don't do window shopping of real estate in December. If they're looking for window shopping, they're doing it at the local mall because they're buying gifts. They've got other things to do. Window shopping in December is not high on most people's lists. But let's think about this. If CoreLogic is right and prices appreciate 5.3% as they suggest, and again I mentioned 108 in California, a home that costs $250,000 today will cost an additional $13,250 this time next year. You're going to need more down payment money as well, and I'm going to talk about down payments in a minute. But there is a cost of waiting. I share this re frequently with listeners who are asking me, should I wait to buy, should I wait to sell? Cost of waiting is real. The cost of waiting from the property appreciation standpoint and the cost of waiting from the standpoint that the National Associ or the Federal Reserve increased interest rates last month and they say two, four, or six increases again this year. We don't know how many. But I've heard all of those different numbers. Four seems to be the biggest, or the most common report is four interest rate increases by the Federal Reserve this year. Add that and your purchasing power diminishes. Those are issues that you really need to be contemplating. Where are you heading? Number three, where are interest mortgage rates headed? I just started talking about that one. I wasn't even looking at my notes here. But the Mortgage Bankers Association, the National Association of Realtors, and Freddie Mac all have projected that mortgage interest rates will increase by approximately three quarters of a percent over the next 12 months. So they're saying that over the next, and again, not me. These are, these are some pretty highly regarded institutions. Freddie Mac, MBA, NAR, they're all institutions that have a vested interest in telling you that interest rates are going to stay low. But their economists are saying just the opposite. Interest rates are going to go up. Now, Fannie Mae is the most conservative of them. But by the fourth quarter of next year, the National Association of Realtors, and again, they should be the one that's, if, they were, if it was propaganda, would have the lowest projection. They actually came in the highest, saying 4.9% next year, by this time next year. So only you and your family know for certain if now's the right time to purchase a home. But if you can answer all these questions, that will help you with that knowledge. That is the real-time real estate segment, again, brought to you by the area trusted professionals of Ron Siegel Radio. Now, I, st I started sharing with you a minute ago about saving for a down payment. And in order to have that discussion at all, we really do need to have the discussion of how much money you need for a down payment. Because the typical down payment, all buyers, 10% is the typical down payment amount. Repeat buyers, they're going to put down a little bit more money most of the time, 14%. First time buyers, first time home buyers, on average, they're doing 6%. So let's think about some of those numbers. The VA home buyers, they average 2%. And you know that on that VA program, if they're in the, in the county limits, they can actually do 0% down. But the average VA buyer by closed loans, according to Ellie May, 2% is what they're putting as their down payment. So to save 10% in the state of California, you're looking at almost 22 years but you don't have to save that much. Eight, across the U.S., the average is you need 8%. But 3%, it is an, an option for a down payment. So you're looking there at about six and a half years savings. My comment to you is get in the game as soon as you can get in the game. 
Because if you look at a $400,000 house, if we do get that 10% appreciation, again, I don't know if we will, that's an extra $40,000 in appreciation for you. $40,000 in equity. What do you have to do at your job to earn $40,000? We'll talk more about it when we come back. You're listening to Ron Siegel Radio, discussing your real estate current events and the financial markets, why you should avoid skip a payment offers on your debts, one rate hike down, how about another? We'll talk about that a little bit more. And you can reach us anytime. Call our off-air number, 800-306-1990-800-306-1990 or ronsegalradio.com. Connect with us, facebook.com forward slash ronsegalradio on Twitter, at Ron Siegel. And again, if you miss any part of our broadcast, go to youtube.com slash ronsegal1 and the broadcasts are there. Stay tuned. We'll be back in just a few. Is your credit score over 800? Are you living in the home of your dreams or simply where you think you can afford? Are you earning a safe, secure 10 plus percent return on your investments? If the answer to any of these questions is no, what are you doing about it? Text ATP to 79564. Complete a three-minute complimentary survey and the area-trusted professionals of Ron Siegel Radio will reach out to you to develop a success strategy for you. Again, all you need to do is text ATP to 79564. Are you purchasing or own a luxury home? If you're like so many others, your home is your largest asset and the mortgage is your largest debt. The Siegel Lending Team has some amazing financing opportunities right now. Jumbo loans up to $2 million, 30-year rates below 4%, 15-year rates near 35 and if you can believe it, 7-year interest only hybrids in low threes. The Siegel Lending Team has all the options for your jumbo or second and home loan requirements. Take advantage of them while you can. To learn more about all the other financing products available from the Siegel Lending Team, call 1-800-306-1990. That's 1-800-306-1990. Or visit SiegelLendingTeam.com. That's S-I-E-G-E-L LendingTeam.com. Again, call 1-800-306-1990. Rates subject to change without notice. Licensed by NMLS ID 217037 and 145502. Equal housing lender. Southern California attorneys have over 15,000 real estate agents to call in Orange County for their personal and professional needs. Why do they overwhelmingly call Melinda Johnson? Simple. It's the Melinda Johnson trifecta. Melinda is an attorney, real estate broker, and realtor. Does your family deserve the same professional services California lawyers demand? Call Melinda Johnson at 714-863-5485. That's 714-863-5485. Or on the web at freedomfirstproperties.com. Are you a veteran? Own a home and need money? The Siegel Lending Team is here to help veterans refinance and get the money they need. The VA 100 lets you borrow up to 100% of your home's value. Refinance your mortgages, consolidate credit cards, and lower your payments by an average of seven. $700 a month. And the Siegel Lending Team knows that character means more than a credit score. Call 800-306-1990. That's 800-306-1990. Rate subject to change without notice. Licensed by the California Department of Corporations. NMLS 21037 and DRE number 01869452. 37% of American homeowners believe they have over 20% equity in their homes. Fannie Mae tells us 69% of American homeowners have over 20% equity in their homes. Fully one in three American homeowners are not informed about the amount of equity they have in their homes. Are you one of them? How might this be holding you back from achieving your goals? Text RSR CMA 279564 to get a property valuation from one of the area trusted professionals of Ron Siegel Radio. Again, to know how much your home is really worth, simply text RSR CMA 279564. You're listening to Ron Siegel's Home and Finance Show with local and national expert Ron Siegel. Now, here's Ron. Welcome back to Ron Siegel Radio. Within every market, there are solutions. As well as tremendous opportunities, you just need some trusted guidance. That's my message, and as your consumer advocate, I will be delivering it every day on Ron Siegel Radio or anytime at 800-306-1990, 800-306-1990. Your Credit Matters segment today brought to you by Credit Sanitizer, Dot com. You have a credit report, it is wrong. Every one of them are wrong. I tell you that on a regular basis. So what are you doing about it? 
Credit Sanitizer has the solutions for you. You just need to take action on your own. And they've got that great solution right there square in the middle of their website. I think it's called an FES protection plan, something like $87 a month. It's, it's one of the, it's a totally comprehensive plan to save you money. Now, why do I say it costs you $87 and it saves you money? Well, one of the things that they're going to do with that is help you clean up your credit. They are going to, they know the laws. They can help you with the letters of what you need to do to get your credit cleaned up to make correct the errors on your credit report. There's nothing about, they're not into this, it's not my bogus scams that are out there. Their focus is on making sure, here's the best way I can share this with you. I, I, I don't know whether I should go here, but I'm going to anyway. I had a gentleman on, we've had a few times, and I'm a big law and order guy, I support the police. I probably would not be the best juror in the world because I walk in with a prejudice or a bias saying the police are right. I know there's some of them that are probably, that like everybody else, there's, there's good and there's bad, but I think it's a minimal, minimal, minuscule fraction of the police officers that are, are not good people. So with that said, I probably wouldn't be a, uh, a good juror but my concept here is you need to understand your credit report. The bureaus are not there looking to help you. The laws, credit sanitizer and the folks that work with them, they understand the fair, there's like four or five major laws, Fair Credit Reporting Act, the Fair Debt Collections Act, various others. They understand them. I'm the radio guy. I don't, I don't deal with that. But they use the laws to make sure that you are getting, the, the reporting is done accurately. And the reason I mentioned that with regard to the juror system is I had a criminal attorney on the broadcast with us last month. And he, I asked, you know, how could you be a criminal defense attorney? You know, there's a lot of bad guys. And he says, Ron, my job is to make sure that the law, the Constitution is adhered to, and they get due process. That's my job. It's not to get them off. It's to make sure that they get, that the Constitution is followed equally for everybody. Well, Credit Sanitizer, they're doing the same thing. They're making sure that the laws with regard to your credit report are being adhered to. If they're not, the items should come off. The item, the law says that everything that's on your credit report, anything on your credit report, must be accurate and verifiable. If it's not accurate and not verifiable, then it's not legal to be there. I'm not giving you legal advice, I'm just sharing with you. That's the way, that's my interpretation of what they're saying. So they're going to help you to get that done. Now, yeah, it's $87 a month or $89 a month, something like that. Again, I'm not the credit sanitizer guy. But when they do that, your credit scores go up. When your credit scores go up and you go to buy furniture, you go to buy a new car, you go to apply for a, for a credit card, you go to buy a new house, your interest rates go down. When you go to buy a new house, $87 a month looks like peanuts compared to what you'll save on interest over a 30-year period. Think about that. When do you start preparing? When you're going to buy the house? No. You start the preparation as soon as you can. You start the preparation right away. Because, and I'll, I'll say it, I believe that you probably need to be doing this all the time. It probably needs to be just one line item on your budget that says credit sanitizer, FES protection, $87 every single month. That way you're always watching. It's gonna give you the LifeLock program. It gives you a game plan on reducing your overall household debt. A lot of different issues. It, it really looks out for you. I'm just gonna suggest it to you. It's, it's a pretty simple process. Now, the issue here that we wanna talk about today, I shared this with you. I, I, gave you this headline before, is to avoid the skip a payment offers on your debt. Avoid those. 
Why do I say avoid those? Number one, it's just accruing interest. When they say skip a payment, they don't say that they're zeroing out the interest for that period. They're just telling you you don't have to make a payment and you're not going to get dinged as being late. So that's not in your best interest. You're still char being charged interest. You're also tempted to then say, okay, well, I didn't make that $100 payment to my Visa card, so I'll go out and spend that somewhere else. And then when it comes time to making those payments, you don't have the money and you're, you have additional stress. So I'm going to give you this suggestion. Don't do that. And I've shared this with you before. If you're in the process of trying to clean up your credit, if you're trying to get yourself on a healthier footing, go to your bank bill pay system. Set up to make a payment into your system every month right before the statement closing date right before that statement closing date. You can make additional payments throughout the month. It doesn't, they don't charge you, they don't ding you for making additional payments. But what I want you to do is make sure that you're never ever late. So if you know that you're always using your Visa card, maybe you go buy groceries on your Visa card and I have no problem with that, pay it off at the end of the month. But make those payments on a regular basis so that you know whatever your budget is for that you're always making the payments and you're getting the maximum credit score you possibly can get. These are just items that are gonna help you in the long run with that credit. Build the score. If you do some of these uh, teasers with credit cards or balance transfers, keep the credit cards opened. As long as they don't have a high annual fee, does it hurt you to keep the credit card open? And what I'm going to suggest to you is if they do have an annual fee and you're making payments to them on a regular basis, you're a good customer of theirs, give it a shot. Call them up and tell them you want to cancel the card unless they reverse that fee. If they're making money on your account, they're happy to keep making money on your account instead of having to go. It's like any other business. Every business has the same issues. Trying to find new customers is much harder than keeping old ones. The credit card companies know that. They understand it. So if they, whatever they can do to keep you, they're going to do. That's what their mission is, is to continue. They get bonuses. They get payment. They sell their services. They value their companies based on how many credit cards they have outstanding. Because they know if the card's out, you're going to use it. When you use it, the credit card, the, the vendor is paying a credit card processing fee. So in addition to charging you interest, the vendor is paying a processing fee. When they pay that credit card processing fee, the company makes money. So you go out and spend $100 on your card, the credit card processing fee is going to be somewhere between 2 and $3. Multiply that times millions and millions and millions of cards, and you can see that the companies are making millions and millions and millions of dollars. So do they want to cancel you? No. They want you to go out there and continue spending. That's their business model. That's the real time. That's the uh, Your Credit Matters segment for today. Again, brought to you by CreditSanitizer.com. If you are one of those vendors who are paying that credit card processing fee, I highly recommend that you reach out to our friends over at Commerce for a Cause and talk to them. They'll match the processing fee and then in your name, they're gonna donate 20% of that fee to the nonprofit charity of your choice. Think about that one because you might already be a, a philanthropic person. You might already be giving money out to these different organizations, but it's coming out of your pocket. What if you can have the same benefit for the organization and it comes out of a line item that's already on your balance sheet, on your income statement, and you don't have to pay the extra money? I would suggest you're probably going to be happier if you can give $1,000 to Patriots and Paws and you were going to give them $1,000 anyway, but somebody else makes that payment for you. Doesn't that make a little bit of sense to you? I just suggest... Call our friends over there at Commerce for a Cause. So I did share with you a little bit that we were going to talk about interest rates, where they're heading, what's going on. This week is going to be a little bit volatile. I say that every week because there's always data coming out. We're a data-driven industry. 
And again, I don't know what the Federal Reserve is going to do. Nobody does. They talk about the idea that they're going to be data-driven, but then they don't really follow the data. Data-driven meaning they know that the 5% unemployment number is a phony number. That's the U3 number delivered by the Bureau of Labor Statistics. They know that the U6 number is more accurate, and that's closer to 9.9 percent, 94 million Americans not working. They also know that our GDP, about 2.1 percent, is not a number that they really want. We don't have inflation, so that's not going to be part of the data that's going to drive interest rates up. They needed to save face, and one of the things that they did when they raised interest rates, unfortunately or fortunately, depending upon your perspective, is the effect that that's going to have is simply giving them bullets in their gun, so to speak, if we have a major issue, a major recession. A ma and there's, there is a school of thought out there saying that we could be in for another recession based on the lack of GDP, lack of jobs. I know that they came out saying that there was 290,000 jobs created but the way they look at that is if you get paid one hour of work for pay, that's considered a new job. It's not called a good job. It's just called a new job. Just a thought there. We're going to talk more about this when we come back. You're listening to Ron Siegel Radio, discussing your real estate, current events, and the financial markets. We'll also talk about, well, what's the, what will the Fed do? We'll, we'll give you some ideas there. You can reach me anytime. Call the off-air number, 800 306 1990 800-306-1990 or ronsegalradio.com. Stay tuned. We'll be back in just a few. Are you living in the home of your dreams or simply where you think you can afford? Are you earning a safe, secure 10 plus percent return on your investments? Is your credit score over 800? If the answer to any of these questions is no, what are you doing about it? Text ATP to 79564. Complete a three-minute complimentary survey, and the area-trusted professionals of Ron Siegel Radio will reach out to you to develop a success strategy for you. Again, all you need to do is text ATP to 79564. Do you have a loved one who wants to stay in their home, but you have health concerns about it? The Preferred Care Team understands the challenges of caring for your loved ones. Their goal is to keep seniors as independent as possible while maintaining their health, safety, and overall well-being. Whether you need just a few hours a week or 24-hour care, Preferred Care caregivers are trained to meet your needs. Call Preferred Care at 714-696-9150. That's 714-696-9150. Or visit preferredcare.com. Attention homeowner 62 and older. Do you worry if you can afford to keep your home? Are you concerned about paying all your monthly expenses? Or do you simply wish you could live a better retirement? If you answered yes to any of these questions, you may qualify for a program that can help. It's called FHA Reverse Mortgage. It's insured by the federal government. You'll receive tax-free money. You aren't required to make any monthly mortgage payments, and you still own your home. Siegel Lending Team is a local leader in FHA reverse mortgages. Call free to get your free reverse mortgage guide, free custom quote. And when you call now, you can get all your questions answered by local experts. There is no monthly mortgage payment and tax-free money you can use for health care expenses, home improvements, or just live a better retirement with peace of mind. Call 800-306-1990. That's 800-1990 to get your free reverse mortgage guide and quote. You'll also find them on the web at SiegelLendingTeam.com. That's S-I-E-G-E-L LendingTeam.com. Call 800-306-1990 now. Are you currently renting a home? Do you like paying someone else's mortgage payment? Why not explore the options to purchase your own home? Can you imagine a 30-year fixed rate loan below 4.25% APR? This means with $10,500, you can purchase a $295,000 home and have a principal and interest payment of about $1,400 per month. What are you paying in rent? Does your family deserve Deserve the opportunity to take advantage of the current market? To learn more about these exciting opportunities, the Siegel Lending Team is standing by to speak with you. Call now, 1-800-306-1990. That's 1-800-306-1990. Or visit SiegelLendingTeam.com. That's S-I-E-G-E-L LendingTeam.com. Or 1-800-306-1990. Rate subject to change without notice. Licensed by NMLS 
USID 217037 and 145502. Equal housing lender, not endorsed or sponsored by any government agency. West Automotive Group has been supplying San Diego County with the highest level of automotive service and repair for over 20 years. Visit them at westautomotivegroup.com. You're listening to Ron Siegel's Home and Finance Show with local and national expert Ron Siegel. Now, here's Ron. Welcome, Welcome back, back to Ron Siegel Radio. Within every market, there are solutions. As well as tremendous opportunities, you just need some trusted guidance. That's my message, and as your consumer advocate, I will be delivering it every day on Ron Siegel Radio. Or any time at 800 306 1990 800 306 1990 The word on wealth segment today being brought to you by the area trusted professionals and your household bar- household board of directors. Household board of directors. Yeah, you need one if you don't have one. They're the people that have the expertise in helping you in various areas of your world, your life. Every major business that I know of has a board of directors. Yet, for some reason, in our household or in our endeavors, the idea here is is that people didn't, don't set those up. Why not? My thinking for you is that if you need it, you should do it. Text ATP to 79564. Do a survey. It'll be about two minutes. And we'll see how it fits, what will benefit your personal situation and we'll get that set up for you one rate hike down how about another is the topic of today's word on wealth segment i told you earlier that that the com the common concept or, or word around on the street is that we're going to see four rate hikes this year on the from the Federal Reserve. Does that immediately affect your mortgage? Well, the answer to that question is no. Over the long term, it probably will. Now, if you have a home equity line of credit, for the most part, those are tied to the Fed fund. They're actually tied to prime rate, which is tied to the Fed funds rate. So when the Federal Reserve increases their discount rate, then the prime rate goes up and ensuing the your home equity line of credit will go up, the interest on that. And I know some of you are still paying just the interest only portion during the distribution years. That's generally the first nine years or 10 years of, that, uh, lo- of the line. Now the question that happens is say you bought a house in 2000, 5, 2006, 2007, and you used the home equity line of credit, they called it a combo loan, so you didn't have to pay mortgage insurance. And I understand that. It's an interesting strategy. A lot of us help people doing loans that way. And again, you know that I lead a lending team, so if you're thinking about options, we can always put together these different options for you. Does that make sense? What's going to happen now, though? Well, what we're looking at is if you, you're getting to that 10-year point, that loan is now going to be amortized over 15 or 20 years. That's called payment shock. Your payment is going to increase significantly. I would highly recommend, based on what's going on in the marketplace today, that you get a total cost analysis report. Something just to give you an idea where you would be today if you restructured your home loans. Maybe you want to roll in other debt into it because now we're looking at about 91% of American households have equity in their homes. There are still some that do not have equity, but about 91% do have equity. Not only about 30% of the people think they have equity. So we're seeing a big difference there. You need to talk to a trusted professional. That's why I am such a big proponent of this area trusted professional program that we've created for you. It's complimentary. It costs you absolutely nothing. A text message, ATP to 79564, and a two-minute survey, that's all it's going to take you. And then you're going to get guidance, professional guidance, 
Now, do the members of your household board of directors, do they make money? Well, yes, of course they do. They have to feed their family. But my suggestion to you in almost every situation that I know of, if you're hiring good people, it does not cost you. You're going to benefit from it. You're going to save money or make money. So why wouldn't you hire an expert to help you save money or make money? It's called a return on that expense. And how do you, how do you evaluate that? How do you benefit from that? When I shared with you a little earlier that interest rates, every major institution is saying they're going to go up. Why wouldn't that happen with you? Well, what are you doing about it? Just last week, I, I mean, there's people right now that are looking it out. They're out there saying, well, Ron, I want to get into the housing market. I lost my house in 2011. I got to wait. Or 2012. Well, the answer to that is no, you don't have to wait. There are programs that will allow you to buy a home one day out of foreclosure, one day out of short sale, one day out of bankruptcy. Now, a lot of the marketplace isn't talking about that. You're not going to see the evening news leading with information like that. Their job is not to, to try and help you solve your family's issues, not to help you get the home that you desire. Their job is to sell advertising. And as long as they can find something that'll help you buy what they're selling, that's their mission. Well, what am I doing here? Well, obviously we've got to sell advertising also, but I want to help you get a new home. I want you to realize that you don't have to have mortgage history or rental history. I want you to understand that if you're self-employed, we understand that you're writing off everything that's legal and it's going to bring your tax liability as low as possible. That's why we want to look at your bank statements instead of your tax returns. We might look at the tax returns as well just to make sure we're not missing something. But there's bank statement loans out there that'll look at your bank statements and say, ah, Mr. Jones is depositing $200,000 a year into his bank but he shows $25,000 a year as income. Hmm, I wonder why. Well, we look at that in a different way. 30-year fixed rate, no problem. Five-year adjustable, no problem. Purchase money, no problem. Try and get money out to do a rate and term refinance. That's there as well. All of these things are available. Now, when you walk into the local bank, Bank of America, Wells Fargo, Chase, all very, very fine people. Many of, I have friends that work at every one of those institutions. Every single one of them I've got some friends at. But do they have every program that's out there? No. Nobody has every program. That's why you want to talk to a mortgage banker. Why do you talk to a mortgage banker? Because they act as a personal shopper for you. They're going out and looking for the best solutions. Now, do I believe that the group that I, I lead, the group that we've associated with is the best? Yeah, and I'm going to tell you exactly why I believe that. Do you remember last year, toward the end of the year, there was a report that came out that said existing home sales dropped 10.5%. Well, there's a reason that the existing home sales dropped 10.5%. The reason existing home sales dropped that much was a new law went into effect on the 3rd of October and it had an effect of extending the amount of time it takes to close a home loan by about 15%. Well, if it's going to take that long to close a home loan, if it's going to increase the time to close by about 15%, don't you think that the existing home sales are going to get pushed out a, a, a certain amount of time? Of course they are. Well, the team that we're working with, and that number came out as 45 days is what the existing number is the, the time to close a loan came out at. The team that we lead is actually going to show you that their statistics are they closed loans in 20 and a half days for all of last year, including the post-loan time frame. 20 and a half days. 
half the time of the averages that came out from Ellie Mae. Half the time, because they're at 45. It's a matter of knowing what you do, knowing how to do it. I gave you the wrong number. In November, it was 49 days. Our number for the year was 20 and a half. Think about the way that works, what impact that's going to have. And then give us a call at 800-306-1990 if you want to get your loan closed on time. And remember, be sure to set that first radio preset button to come back here every day to join Ron Siegel Radio, where we only speak about items affecting your house and your bank account. Thanks to all of our sponsors. A big thanks to Steve, who's engineering us today. And of course, a special thanks to you for spending a little bit of your day with us. That's all for Ron Siegel Radio. Again, if you have any questions, call me anytime, 800-306-1990, 800-306-1990, or ronsiegelradio.com. And remember, make a lot of money, help a lot of people, have a lot of fun. Have a great day. We'll talk to you next time on Ron Siegel Radio. You're listening to ESPN Radio 1700.